All right, with every single planet in our solar system on the same side of the sun, except for Mars, we're looking for heavy imbalance in earthquakes, volcanoes, and just general wackiness. Also, the Thor fundraiser goal for October only has $555 left to raise. If you'd like to contribute, it would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, we had a 6.9 earthquake in Chignik, Alaska earlier this morning. There was no tsunami. As far as I know, nobody got hurt. It was 69 kilometers deep, which means it was not shallow. So that is good news. Lava flowing from the volcano on Spain's La Palma Island sparked a fire at a factory which forced more than 2,500 residents into lockdown. That's not good. Also, the volcano Neva Dodal Ruiz is puff puff passing. Also, Papacatepel, the volcano in Mexico, is super ashen out into the atmosphere. You've got Hurricane Pamela headed towards Mexico, going to make landfall as a Category 2, Category 3 hurricane, and that'll bring heavy rain, hurricane winds, and problems to Mexico, and then possibly heavy rain into Texas in a couple of days. Mike's weather page, Pacific Storm Pamela crossing over, bringing some big rains into Texas, northeastward this week rainfall here through friday a.m so there's a lot going on including possibly our big first wintry storm which will be headed into the pacific northwest yeah so yeah we are in for a while two weeks of weather yesterday we had a major storm push through oklahoma causing major hail and over six tornadoes as far as i heard there are no fatalities so excellent job asteroid fight club but here you can see the 48-hour precipitation you can see moisture coming out of the gulf area meeting up with the frozen precipitation coming out of the pacific northwest and you can see some red in there we're definitely going to be on the lookout for more severe weather today the great lakes is under watch for severe weather we're talking hail and tornadoes and stuff and then tomorrow we get a major watch zone for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas Mike area. How you doing, Mike? And so, yeah, there's a lot of wild weather happening. So I hope everybody's buckled in, you know, and then we'll be watching out for some possible flooding through south central to north central Texas. Then we got some possible cyclonic areas of development to monitor as winter season clashes with summer season man is the sun been super duper active or what today we have three sunspots on the sun and departing sunspot explodes missing earth yesterday october 10th an active region on the western edge of the sun exploded producing a c class solar flare nasa solar dynamics observatory captured a plume of hot plasma flying out in the blast site you know what can you imagine if the sun manufactured blankets where the hot side stayed hot and the cool side stayed cool geomagnetic storm warning NOAA forecasters say there's a 35 percent chance of a geomagnetic storm today when a halo cme is expected to hit earth's magnetic field we could reach g2 storm levels but you'll have to stay tuned yeah so things are active wild and wacky and stay tuned man because 2021 is only going to keep on getting 2020 -er. You know what I'm saying? All right, this has been your Afternoon Thor News Report. I'll be back for an evening update. Like I said, if you'd like to donate, I've only got $555 left to raise for my October Thor News fundraiser. You guys are all amazing. Thank you to Cozy, Cody, Texas Angel, Joe, and everybody in Asteroid Fight Club. Love you guys. Everybody have a great day, and I will talk to you all in the near future. God bless, and talk to you soon. God bless everyone.